we better get that started, haven't we? This is going to be, yeah, I don't know what's happening yet. I've got to phone up and find out. Mm. Mm. Right. Yeah. Right, I need to uh, make sure that I know where I'm going. <sighs> Milton Keynes apparently, so it's going to be going that way, sort of, I think. MK. Oh, it's only 17 mile away. That's pretty cool. Not bad, that. It'll be a nice little tattoo down the lanes. That'll be, won't it? You think so? I do. <laughs> right, let's uh, fob that off out the way. That should be over there. Put them down there at the road and that as well. Let's put you somewhere where that's reasonable. I'm thinking that might just about fucking do it, I think. I better shift that as well because it might end up fucking flapping around everywhere. Oh, I've got that, I've got that. I have no idea what that is, but that can fuck off and all. Right, put the back cameras on. I haven't turned them on yet because, obviously, I didn't want to waste any charge. Not bad. Right, now I'm going to go and put you on now. Hopefully everything will be fine, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Everything will be fine, yeah. Okay. <sighs> mm -hmm. Fuck it, that'll do. Right, I'm gonna go and put you on. And I'm gonna put you on. It shouldn't uh, take too long. A bit of luck. La 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 la. Oh, that one's dying already. <laughs> I knew that might do because this one was really flat this side. Never mind that way. Where are you going? You're going that side. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a pink trying to check this one. Okay, as I'm, I'm in, the, in the edges. Whew, it's a close that is, isn't it? Do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you That's not that bad, that ain't. Oh, I think we can live with that. Okay, I've got buzzy bees and buzzy flies around me now. Right. Too bad. Not too bad at all. Mm -hmm. I don't like it forcing it too much though. Come on then, because we are precariously in the way. I just hope we fucking ding dangler ain't uh, doing stupid shit. Because I don't want to do stupid shit. Right, here we are. Oh, 
man, I'm sweating my cobblers off. This morning when I went off to... Uh, Hi, by the way, let's get that sorted. Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to another fucking sweaty version of Jive. That's going, that's, it, you know, fucking, I better not. I've got to do something with that. Let's lower it down a bit. Bit there, that'll do. Let's just check. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, fuck it. It's getting me. Oops, let it. Right, we are uh, currently in a place called Brakeley. Brackley, Brackley, does that sound right? It's there anyway, so I'm on the way back out of here and I've got to chuck a, looks like I'm chucking a left, so It'll be a country lane little drive, so in, enjoy is what I say, enjoy. Taking the scenery. Oh, fresh air, fuck. Yeah, this morning, I've already done a, done a delivery, one of those uh, little ones where you have to self tip. And the fucking place there, man, honestly. I mean, they don't mind doing themselves, dude. That's fine, no bother. But the temperature inside there is, is fucking rocketing, and luckily it's in the morning, but it's still damn hot, so you're literally wringing wet when you're done. And uh, it's not good, it's not fair. They ought to have the, the uh, any bay doors are not being used, they ought to have them open, really. But hey ho. Now, I remember, all right, it says on the way up here, it said um, just up there it's a seven and a half ton limit so I'm going to go that way the way I came and then we sat and I can have a fid and then we can uh, get on with it because I'm not going to be uh, going down there and having to come back again so change the route please Oh, and look, it's changed the route. Oh, exciting. Going this way, and not that way, has now added five more miles to the journey. Would you believe? Five more miles, I oh, know. How exciting is that? Five more miles of me waffling on like a complete gomper. The thingy is right. If you look at it like this, if I don't waffle on, then what's the fucking point of me doing this shit in the first place? Yeah, not at all, is it? And I haven't had a chance to do anything like this for a long time, so... Here we go. Wheezy whiz. It's nice though, isn't it? It's early, it's sunny 10 o'clock in the morning on this 27th, yes, 27th of the 7th, 2018, for those of you who are in the future, right? That's the date today that I'm doing this, and uh, I apologise for my main camera flapping around like a summer gone soft, but that's just the way it's set up, I'm afraid. It is rather annoying, that, isn't it, when it's bouncing around everywhere? I can't help that, though, I'm afraid, I just can't help it, now. And the faster it goes, the worse it gets. I'm only doing like 40 mile an hour. Just over, just under, just over, just under. Make your fucking mind up, will you? You see, I could, if I wish to, travel at 50 miles an hour. I mean, I am empty, so it wouldn't really make so much of a difference, really. It's not that much of a bother. But there are certain parts in this road that you just you just can't, you know what I mean? It's just daft. Here's a bit of common, and you go, well, I think I ought to slow down for that bend, you know what I mean? Oh, this thing is not on a fucking train track. Wouldn't that be fun? We are uh, going to be jogging along this dual carriageway now, I think. 
or part of it anyway. I reckon I will. I reckon I will. I'm probably wrong, but I don't know. I've never. Got... There is one thing though, right? That I'm like sort of like oh, maybe. I don't know whether I've actually been down that way because apparently it's it's uh, Buckingham Industrial Estate down there. And for some unknown reason, that sounds very familiar. And I had to come all the way around the Reeking to get to this thing down here, to get to the place I wanted to get to. Uh, to avoid bridges and what have you, I'm sure it was, and it was down there. I ended up having to go. But I'm not 100% sure. Because like I say, that was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Right. 17 miles to the M1. I can live with that, can you? Yes, my sat nav is now going, what the fuck are you doing? No, 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 no. Remember, I'm on this road and not that one. Have you figured it out yet? So the, uh, looks like the satellites are having a play. We might be being invaded by aliens. And they're messing with our uh, satellites. Either that or the sat nav doesn't really know that this actual part of the road exists. Oh, it does. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining. It ain't like I don't need you at all, you fucker. Right. We are whopping a right. Well, it looks like it's a, a main right, so I can stay where I am. Which is quite nice. I like it. Silverstone is that way as well. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, talking about hello. Um, <coughs> The place I have just visited and I have delivered, there was, without a doubt, two very lovely ladies in there. Mm -mm -mm. They were very nice indeed. Wearing flowery stuff and what have you because apparently it was one of the, the uh, ladies' birthday. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was quite nice. Uh, the one uh, was uh, wearing a, uh, a pink, uh, very fitting dress, which left no imagination whatsoever. And yeah, you could see it underway. And that won't even by trying either. That was just like, hello. Put it this way, right? And I'm standing there and she got up and walked across. I felt like Superman. Pink. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things, unfortunately. It's just, yeah. And... Mm, made my day. Anyway. On to the next. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so uh, everything that I've been doing of late has been, uh, you know, pretty much the same. Usual finding different shit to uh, occupy the brain and what have you, but you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Just depends. And um, I'm still on this, uh, this buying these uh, second-hand mobile phone stuff, and I'm doing uh, really well with them. I say really well, as in the shit that I'm finding on these things, that's what I'm saying, because right? that's what makes me smile. It's, uh, it's quite amusing. And as I was saying to, uh, to my brother and all about it, and I've spoken to my mum about it as well, I'm thinking that if you think about it, right, that I've gone to the car boot, I've picked up a, a couple of old phones, and reasonably decent ones that don't look completely smoshed and I've got them home, clean them up, charge them up and check to see whether they're, they're accessible or not, got into the ones that I have and the stuff that's been on them has been quite interesting but it, the, the thing that you've got to realise is that it's lasted all those years because I always check the metadata on the uh, on the 
photographs and videos to see when they were actually taken and what have you. And uh, six, seven, eight, nine years ago, depending. I think the oldest one I've, I've had so far is 11 years, 2009. That was cool. Harry Potter. Mm. I am convinced it's the set of Harry Potter. When he was walking uh, to go to that shop to have, you know, to find his wand, that's the uh, that's the the street. I know it's in a it's in a studio set. It's like a tour tourist thing, isn't it? There, like so. And uh, I'm I am convinced that's where it is. That's a cool car, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah. In six and a half miles, I've got to. Uh, take the third exit which is probably another straight on it just means there'll be a piddly thing over there somewhere or piddly two things over that way or whatever it might be right though I mean who knows mm, fucking hell hang on might be a nice car but it fucking stinks whoa <laughs> there were no catley converters that then was there good grief no way no, not back then there weren't at all. Ugh. Well, on my on my pursuit of trying to uh, unlock some of these old phones, I've um, I've now constructed an older PC in the form of Windows XP. It's a 32-bit version. Um, I, I assume that's going to be what it is because of the, how old the uh, computer is. But the bit that made me laugh is the fact that it actually worked. I was quite surprised. I mean, when I did a, um, a motherboard test using its own BIOS system, it comes back saying, yep, yeah, this is fine. There's nothing wrong here. Memory's perfectly cool. That's it. Done. And um, yeah, so I was quite happy with that. Then I all, all I have to do is get myself a hard drive and a, and a DVD drive. Yes, got one of them and one of them and plugged it in and fanned it about for a bit and couldn't get it to work and then fanned it about a bit more and still couldn't get it to work until I kept looking and looking and picking and nosing and fighting around with it and I thought, ah, maybe if I do this, something might happen. And sure enough, it fucking did. It sprung into life after me fucking about with it. But uh, yeah, very cool, very cool indeed. I'm still having trouble with drivers and stuff though. Mm, that's something I am having a bit of an issue with. But, uh, because of it being an old computer, it's, it, instead of it being broadband, it's, it's asking for modem and dial-up shit, so, and I don't have one of them. I have broadband, so I am trying to access it through that way, which is, uh, at the moment, a little problematic, but I'm sure I'll figure it out somewhere. There'll be some that I can poke, some that will prod, you know what I mean, I'll fiddle with it, but I'm not going to fiddle with it like I did with the other one and end up breaking it now. I've learnt my lesson with that. <laughs> there are certain things you're not supposed to do with the power on, right? Yes. And that involves flicking switches and what have you when the power's on. Now you don't do that. Yeah. I think I've killed the CPU on that one. Done. Dead. Snuffered. But, shit happens. You live and learn. I shan't do that again. I can get, uh, well, I'll say I can, it just depends how long he's on eBay for, like, you know, but there's one that's up for sale. It looks like it's a possible higher version than mine, um, but the layout of the uh, sockets are the same. So you've got the PS2's uh, keyboard mouse sockets, two USB sockets, then the long in a straight line there's the, the printer uh, there's a gaming joystick socket and then there's a the um, there's, I think there's also a port com port and the monitor so and, but they're all laid out in the same same position so 
with that regard, that means it would just go boink and and then that's it then, isn't it? You know, then done. Oh, there is a CPU with this one as well. I'm not sure whether the the heat sink and stuff would fit off this older one I've got. Don't know. If not, well, I'm afraid I'll have to try and figure out a way of finding somewhere that'll fit on it. Yeah. I don't really want to be cobbling something together and doing it, but you never know. But other than that, at the moment, it's just going to have to wait because you know I can't. I'm struggling with a, with a bit of money at the moment. I'm a bit, a bit thin. I am sort of like coming back again, but I'm still a bit thin, and uh, I need to wait. Unfortunately, it's getting a bit warm in here. Hang on, mate. Fry a fucking egg on the dashboard. We were supposed to be having storms. Someone said storms or something were coming today, but I don't think it looked like it, does it? Yeah. Ooh, one and a half miles, and the roundabout will be upon us. Yay! If I'm there, if I do do it right, I could probably sell these phones, um, the ones that I've actually serviced in a sense, and clean them all up and got them working. I could probably sell them for like 10, 15 quid each. Even the uh, the SD and uh, memory sticks are worth some of. You know what I mean? So I could make my money back easy by flogging them that way if I wanted to, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know that I can't use them all, that's pretty obvious, but I can't use all the watches I've got, but I do like them. I do wear them now and again, some of them. I have a moment, I go, oh, put that one on today. I mean, this is my favourite one of them, which is that one. The Nixon rerun. It's just one of those watches where you can, it just feels comfortable, light. I like it, it's nice. Looks like I might have to move over. Uh, yeah, it'll do. I'll stick, it, I'll stick it here. The layout's a bit odd on here. It says M1 that way, but it wants me to go that way. Because the M40 is that way as well. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to, I've got to stick the indicator back on again and move over a bit more yet. Oh. Oh, okay. We're going down here, are we? Why are we going down here? I don't like this. I don't like going places where I am not familiar with. Or it's like says shitty little roads where Arctic shouldn't really be going. But um, we've still got 12 miles yet and all, so. <laughs> I don't like it. Mother, mother. <laughs> Let's go this way. Audio, we're going straight out here. Well, not yet, but we are. Town centre, the full. I don't like that. Why are we going to the fucking town centre for? Why on earth would we be going that way for? Doesn't make sense, does it? There's got to be a better way than that, surely. Hmm. I don't like this. This makes no sense whatsoever. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go back down there. If the thing goes cooky, then it'll have to go cooky, I'm afraid. Town centres. I don't like the idea of town centres. Not in a HGV, I fucking certainly don't anyway. So I'm 
not going down there. Screw it. Nah. Nah, don't like that. I'm gonna keep giving this fucking way. Yeah. Mr. Satnav can get fucked, as far as I'm concerned. Find another fucking way, you stupid thing! Send him in a stupid direction like that. Fucking lovely big road there. Uh, there's got to be another way around to it. There's bound to be. I'm convinced. Considering it was Milton Keynes like, you know what I mean? So, you know. And there is 12 miles left yet, and I ain't funny in about that shit for 12 miles now. That way. Let's get down here instead, shall we? Moving over. Yay! Reroute you, sack of fuck the what now? Are you going back up that way? Why? Why? There's got to be another way around it, surely. There's a lay boy, I'm putting in a fucking lay boy, I'm gonna check. Well, it says Milton Keynes there. Oh, I got no fucking choice. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> I don't like it. But it says the A5, so that, see? Yeah, that's better. I like that. Who don't know the A5? I do. I remember travelling all the way from my house down to the A. The, uh, uh, you know. Can I move over? Yes, I can move over. I uh, back in the eighties. Was it? Was it the? Hang, let me think. Was it the eighties? Uh, do you know what? I think it might well have. No, uh, it's possible. It is possible. It is very possible. Very, very possible indeed. A5. Now I like the A5. I can live with that. Everybody knows the A5 is the A5. Um, yeah, I remember. Probably sent round with clothes anyway, didn't it? No, I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Look, at the end of the day, right? You don't matter. Right. Let's go that way again then. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to go down there and find another way around it. It's as simple as that. I ain't going down there. There's no fucking way. Bum, 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 bum. Did he say? Well, it says road close there, doesn't it? It's got to do. And I just don't fucking see it. Oh, fuck me. I have no idea. Let's go down here. Fuck it. Let's go down here. Moving over. You're gonna to have to find another way, dude, because I ain't going down there. Fuck that. Too dangerous. Too stupid. Too fucking ridiculous. I'm gonna to have to find a lay, boy. 
pull in and uh, have a look on the old Maparuni. Because we sat now, don't want to play today. No. Parking, that'll do. Let's just help. There's nobody on there, or if there is, at least there's some room for me to park my ass on it so I can have a good old speed to the map. Just to uh... it's in fucking neutral, stupid. As a matter of fact, I feel fucking stupid at this moment in time. Oh, love a duck. Right, I need to punch in the address. So, okay, eleven. Is it 3AH? No, I keep getting that wrong way around. 3HA, not 3AH. Go. Only time today will do. Not much of a signal. So it's taking its uh, sweet F time. Okay, so it is just off a, a dual carriageway then. So I don't have to go that way then. Oh, okay. And now that I'm only 14 miles away, so... That's the 442. Where's the... F Where am I in the grand scheme of things? So, oh, here we are, look. Yeah, now that road's closed, because it just fucking told me it was closed. Ah, oh, that's all right then. Yeah, I can live with that. See, the A5 would have took me straight to it. Straight fucking to it. Because it's shut, I'm going to have to go to the M1, down the M1, off at the next junction, or I can get off at the junction after that. Uh, or can I? There's a lot of old roads here. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. What junction is that? 15, oh they are then. Fuck it. Happy days. We are gonna go that way. That'll do. I can live with that. Yeah. I can live with that quite happily. I just don't like the eye. See, I have been through 10 centres before and 
with a big hard fucking yes, I've regretted it. Come on truck, put some fucking effort into it, will ya? You're gonna have to reroute, dude, because I'm going straight to the fucking M1. Hello, that's it. I'm all right now. I don't care. I'm just gonna carry on. Fuck it. <clears throat> I think this is sort of like gonna be uh, getting on at around about 15A, I think. Maybe. And then it's 15 I want. Well, I'm hoping that that doesn't turn out to be a complete rancid sack of fucking oh shit. We never know, do we? No, we don't know, do we? But, we'll soon find out. It's a good job I managed to get a break in while I was being unloaded up the road, isn't it, really? Yeah. I probably need another one when I get down here and all the way to fucking drive it so far. I've done 35 minutes, oh that ain't too bad then. 19 miles, according to that, 19 miles. Now, that's if it's rerouted. It ain't telling me to turn fucking round again. If it's rerouted to the M1 then off and on, then that, that, that's fine. That'll be, that's all I'm after. I want the easy life, I don't want the fucking difficult one. Oh, he made a fucking mess of it already. Is it? He's trying to turn it down a rather shut. Oh, fuck. Even on my fucking map, it says it's closed. I'm like, well, fuck me. But like I was saying earlier, though, I remember travelling down the A5. It was, I think, I think, it was back in the uh, late 80s. Right? Because I uh, was in my green... If I was in my blue mini, well, yeah, it was... Very, very iffy, you could call it blue. It was blue with a bit of rust tinge and a green boot, but it was a. That could have been the 90s then, couldn't it? Because that might have been uh, early 90s. Not, like 1991. Mm, nine, yeah, something like that. Could have been 89, 90, or 90. It's going to be in that bracket. <laughs> I know I'm very undersized, but yeah. And I was in the Mini, and I got a mate next to me, which is Daniel, who is no longer with us, unfortunately, which is my sister's best mate's brother. Anywho, uh, Daniel his name. We're on our way to Milton Keynes, because I want to pop to a company called Rotel. And um, Rotel uh, make amplifiers. So... I had an old Rotel amplifier and one of the amps had blown in it. It was a chip about this fucking big. And uh, I'd phoned them up, inquired about it, and they says, yeah, we've got one in stock. It was, uh, I think at the time, it was like £7.98. I thought, ah. Yeah. So I tootled off down there, like, and um, in doing so, managed to get myself a speeding fine because I'd come down this one stretch of, of the A5 doing 50, straight onto another stretch, and <clears throat> being new at driving at the time, I carried on, and um, there was a cop rock car with his speedy gun, and um, he pulls me over, along with the woman in a Range Rover in front of me. Have I got to go straight? No, fuck it, I've got to go straight on. Along with the woman in front of me with a Range Rover, and I was following her at the same speed as her and um, they let her go, she must have flashed her tits or something and um, then they walked over to me and asked me what I, where I was going, I told them where I was going like and oh, I don't know, you do realise you was uh, speeding here, I says was I, I says, yeah, oh, okay. I'd say I was probably 
Now, I, th I think I was 18 at the time. I think. I might have been 19. That's why I say it's in that bracket of either 89, 90, 91, or something like that. Anyway. And um, they ended up issuing me a, um, a fine <coughs> and three points. The fine was 28 quid. Yeah, I know. The cost of things then, back then, eh? <laughs> but, you know, it was the three points that pissed me off, and I was just thinking, well, fuck me. And I'm like, the what, what the fuck? Discrimination or what? They let her fucking go. I suppose she had more money than I had. That's the reason why they let her go for fucking scot free, bastards. But, uh, yeah, I ended up um, having to pay the fine three points on my licence and pretty much my driving shit for a while after that went downhill anyway after that so, but anyway I make my way to this place in uh, Milton Keynes using road naps and A to Z's no sat navs back then oh no this is all done by fucking throwing a fucking stick in the air and watching much weight blue you know what I mean so uh, gets there walks in I got the one the chip in my hand that I wanted Yes, mate, no worries. Sure enough, £7.98. Done. Walks out and then we went off and had another drive back. It's a nice day out, that was. I enjoyed that. It was fun. Oh well. It's amazing how you try and do something, having a bit of fun, a bit of, bit of thing, and... Uh, and of course, you end up getting stung for it. Typical. Absolutely typical. Yeah, I know. It's crap. Looks like he's uh, decided to come the same way as I've going here. You racked off, stupid fucking racked off. Anywho, <coughs> so um, I got back and yeah, I'm fanning about the rest of the day. And then I, uh, I've got myself me the uh, the heat sink compound cleaned off the heat zinc and then resold it in the, uh, the the amp chip daubed it with some cac bolted it back to the heat sink and uh, yeah fired it back up again and I had left channel back hey and then three weeks later fucking right channel went bastard fuck and I thought well I'm not doing that again yeah, I didn't fancy any more speeding vines, fuck that, for a game. So, it went in the bin eventually. Shame, really. It was nice, the lamp was. I loved it. Cracking the thing. <coughs> Morning. Oh, God, I've been up fucking early again. <sighs> According to my, um, my what's it though? My, um, oh, my sleep app. It says that I had 70% sleep quality, which I fucking don't know how. I mean, I was in bed early. I mean, I took a, <laughs> I took a picture on the Twitter of my bedroom and how bright it is when I, at that time of the day, and it's like fuck me. But um, yeah, I just I was tired though because yesterday, fuck, I was tired yesterday. <sighs> Twelve o'clock, I'm like, I want to go out. Two o'clock, I'm like, fuck it, I'm had enough. Please send me fucking home. I'm in the wrong lane again, I know. Oh, fuck it. I'll have to move over. See, I, I don't know what it is. I always have this... I think it's because of me doing the same shit over and over again. I'm losing the skill of driving. I really do. So I'm going to have to move over one. I need to move over two. Because I want the 508. It's a good job there's nobody around in it, really. Have I got to go down here? Or? No, yeah, that's fine. Get on here. Undo. Over we go. Perfect. Stony Stratford. Stony Stratford. Stony and Stratford? Could be. Maybe. Hmm. Seeing that one of our drivers has just gone up the M5, 
five and it's now he's had to drive down there so I'm taking it that it's not a not a bad tip uh, a bad uh, bad reload actually so they should be pretty quick I hope I fucking hope I don't really apparently this is for uh, it's for Litchfield so yeah we are now 13 miles committed to this place happy days I don't think I've had this on the old uh, on video I have been down the 508 because the 508 I see it pop up on the screen I'm thinking ooh that sounds familiar but again it was a long time ago as a matter of fact no that might have been the 505 actually not the 508 uh, Years ago, when I was when I was when I was a, a wee learner on the old uh, class one, and I was with my brother-in-law because he worked the same company at the same t at the time, and um, we was traversing down the five out five, and all of a sudden there I am, and I hear this. What the fucking hell's that? Cow catcher fell off the side of the fucking trailer. Nice. Yeah, so we had to uh, strap that back on. Quite handy here, uh, where you, you know the, the versatility of uh, ratchet straps. <laughs> ah. Hey, it uh, ended up back on, like you know. So yeah, I am bothered. Window open. I'm not going so fast, am I? So it ain't so loud. Fuck, it's warm. Ooh. And it's gonna get warmer. I mean, it's like 20 to 11, and it's 26 degrees already. Oh. No aircon in the truck. Oh no. No, no, no. The only aircon we've got is a window open, and that's it. Well, you never know, there might be something interesting down this road to see. Something of, um, of interest. Something of unusuality. Something of fucking great speed whopping round a corner at 900 miles an hour. <sighs> Wouldn't do that. We're talking about speed limits, right? I was on the way to that place I just delivered to, but. Uh, I'm going to say Brackley and leave it at that. It's not Brackley, Brackley. Anywho, and there I am, I'm, I'm whopping down, I'm doing about 45, and it goes up and it, it hits this bend, and straight after the bend, it went 30, and I like, whoo! The bend wasn't too sharp, so I mean, I was still going a bit, but like, I'm to fucking. So why didn't they step that back on the straighter piece of road so that when you actually reach the bend, you'd, all, you'd have thought that, wouldn't you? That would have, that would have made sense. But again, like, you know, sometimes when people do shit, common sense just doesn't seem to exist. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. What have we got here? Uh, stop the rail freight interchange. Oh, okay. Stop the rail freight interchange, eh? Does that mean stop it so that you lot don't get food or anything like that, or clothes or medical shit and whatever? Oh, okay. It's all right saying stop this shit, but the thing is, the population keeps growing, and uh, the facilities that we've got is going to come to a point where it won't handle it. That's the reason why we increase. It's not just done to piss people off; it's done for a necessity. It always makes me smile. That does. We don't want it here. Where the fuck do you want to put it then? You've got a great big fucking train hub there already. Does it matter? Look, it'll piss you off for a couple of years while it's being done. But once it's done, yeah, well, now. <laughs> hey. They've been doing that. Um, they've been electrifying the train track, which is at the back of me. Or, or should I say... 
with uh, a little bit more accuracy to the side of me, right? And uh, they've been working on it all hours of the fucking night. And it's been not too much of a bother to me, but the neighbours that are alongside me, because it's uh, it isn't the back of their house, it's been uh, very noisy. And they've been uh, banging and knocking and then erecting these uh, stanchions to carry the cables, like, you know. And um, I'm like, it's fucking annoying. I understand that. But once it's done, it's done. I am wondering what the noise level's going to be once it is finally up and done, because I think they're, they're still going down the line, they're uh, erecting these uh, cable towers. But, and then obviously they've got to put the cables on, but what's the noise level going to be when that's whopping down there and going... You know what I mean? As it goes down the, the line, like I mean, it'll be it'll definitely be interesting. And we had got uh, a few. I'm trying to think. Was it three? Two? So the two crossings, or it might have been three public footpaths across the actual track. And obviously now, because of them uh, electrifying that that track, it's now been shut off. You can't. You cannot have pedestrians walking across a track that's electrified because it's fucking dangerous, you know what I mean? Unless it's at a crossing where vehicles and, uh, have, and there's a, like a crossing house that's been made so that you can have, and it's monitored and whatever, so yeah, there are them, but these are like little gully ways that then come to a track, you open a gate, you walk through, shut the gate, you know what I mean? Those, but the a proper vehicle and, and that kind of thing, then yeah, obviously yes, but not a public footpath that's, uh, like a gully way and what have you. No, they get shut off because there's nowhere to monitor them. You can't monitor what's going to happen. And we have had, through the years, um, people, and kids mainly, being struck by the trains and they've, and it's just, no. It ain't fucking worth it, is it really? Nope. Well, I have got just under 10 miles left to go and apparently in five of them miles, I've got a turning to the, that way. It says first exit. That could mean straight on though, it just, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Right. It's very green man here though, isn't it? What do you think? Yeah. Nice. Can't beat a bit of countryside driving, I don't think. It makes you think. You know, you have to, you have to use a bit of common sense. You can't just, you know, go for it and, and hope for the best. You've got to think about it first. That's the reason why I, I turned around and, and did what I did and, and missed the fact that the fucking, it says the road was closed and because I was too busy gassing, I was, in a, I was enjoying myself too much because I'm let out into the wilderness. I'm excited. Make myself look like a clown, mind you. I mean, I could cheat and cut the fuck around and say, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're going now, what, 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 what were you on about? What, what, did, you, what did you cut out? Now, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. If I make a mistake, I'd rather show you the mistake and how I get around it, right? Without, you know, doing something fucking ridiculous. <sighs> Without causing too many people's inconvenience. Because the thing is, you see, right? If I can get out of that situation, then surely you can. So there's always that, isn't there? You have to learn from your mistakes. You don't learn otherwise, do you? Or learn from other people's mistakes. For example, my fucking mistakes. You can learn from me. I don't mind. Enjoy. Why do they put these lines through? What's that all about? That's weird though, isn't it? It's got the name of the thing and it's got a line through it. So if you know what that means, could you please tell me? <clears throat> I've seen a sign when I was on the way up to uh, Brakeley and uh, again there was a sign that says welcome but it was a red line through it. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I've got a theory but I don't know. I'm not sure whether it's like a, like a boundary thing maybe. I'm, I'm thinking on them lines. I, I don't know. 
or the end of a boundary or it's like a continued boundary part or it might be just that it's a memorial kind of thing I don't know I want to get him yeah I can always research it and find out I've been to this place before. Might have done. I have done a couple of uh, deliveries and collections out of Milton Keynes, so there's a possibility, I suppose. However, unlikely it is. Nothing but hedgerows. Hedgerows upon hedgerows. Unfortunately, that's what my cameras are looking at. It's a nice, pleasant country road, though, ain't this one, isn't it? It's easy enough. I say that, then all of a sudden the road starts to narrow. <laughs> I love that. That's great, that is it. It's like, foot gates, you spoke too soon there. I think, yeah, you're fucking right. Now it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'll look. Looks like I'm chucking a left. Not here, I hope. I don't want to get into Cosgrove, thank you. I want to carry on, thanks. See, sign that says, don't bother going down here, it's a waste of time. And even me sat and have agreed with that one. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, I tell you, it is a stretch. Sometimes. Remember to come back this way when I get to this big fancy island here and make sure I chuck a right at it and don't get going straight over because if I go straight over I'm gonna have to come all the way fucking back because the road's closed <laughs> tell you what I don't mind having roads made and built and stuff like that but you know it's it's a pain in the arse when they, they do uh, shut these roads up. It's, it's inconvenient. It's a bit of an inconvenience, eh? It would have been a better drive down there and a quicker fucker for starts off, but hey, oh. shit happens, I suppose. So we're going down, see there's, there's, there's multiple ways of getting off it, onto the, uh, the M1 anyway from this point, so it don't really matter. We obviously want to be going the quicker way because I've got to go to Litchfield after this shit, so yeah. Mm. 
Well, it says that I'll be there in around about 15 minutes or so, because I've only got four and a half miles left to go. How about that? Four and a half miles, and then we are done, ladles and jelly spoons. We are done. Hmm? Not bad, eh? Nice hour of me flapping. Making a complete tit of myself. I mean, I don't mind. Fuck it. What are you two for? Steady on there, dude. You are pulling a trailer. You know. Careful. Mm. It looks like I've got to do a bit of a of a wiggle then it's sort of like you know, there looks like it it's called par par pack par pack something like that I think kiln farm Yes, I've got to get off, get around, get back on, do ups and downs and rounds and bends. Diddly do, I do. I like it. It says something there that I can't quite make out. Now, is it saying 16 foot 8 or 18 foot 8? I mean, if it's over 16 foot 3, they don't normally mark them up, so that's a bit of an odd one. Weird. But they may mark it up if it's a crossing. I don't think it is. It does say 18 foot 8. That's weird. Why on earth would the mark it be like. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be a strange one, I can tell you that now. Yes. We're going to go down there, we're going to go off, come back around and go back over. We're going over there. Yeah, that's the road we're going to be going over. Well, we're going under it, we're going over this road. I know what I meant. It does say hi, did it? Yes, uh, that, that's a weird one. And there's also another one that says 17 foot. Two miles to go. Yay! Oh dear. I feel like a novice. After a few fiddling about and flapping and fucking wrong lanes and this, that and the other, we made it in the end. Uh, we did not uh, cut anybody up, we didn't fuck anybody about, and uh, yeah, there you have it. It's alright, isn't it? V5 Great Monk Street. Yeah. Okay, I'm going down here. And uh, there's a, apparently there's an island up here somewhere. Yeah. Boink. And we've got to go that way. Wolverton Industrial Estate. Could that? Oh, Kiln Farm, hello. Do you know, you, when you see signs that you want to go to, and they pop up on, it's like, oh, hey, breath of fresh air. I'm going this way. Beep, beep, coming through. 
Ah, I see. So that's why it's marked up. Not normally though, they don't normally mark them up just because it's a fucking walkway. Maybe they do. But there's, it says there, look, 18 foot 8. Ooh. Weird, isn't it? Fucking weird. Sorry, it's weird. Really weird. So just down here, we've got to chuck another left and then another left. We're going round in a fucking circle. Left, 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 left. See, there's the road we're going over. We've just been on it. Oh, weird. Yeah, not too bad though, is it around here? It's alright. It's nice. Until you see that. I've got to go in here. It says there, look, kill farm. I've got to go in here. Oh, good grief. Right then, so maybe a kiln farm is an estate, not an actual fucking farm. You see, sometimes, just sometimes. So apparently I've got to go down there. Let's go down here then, shall we? These buildings look like they've been put together, like a Meccano set. <laughs> Fuck you, look at these things there. This is, they look like something that was temporary put together, not like thinking, Fuck it, we'll leave them here. I can't be bothered digging them apart again. They're fucking strange looking buildings, aren't they? Weird. I think they could do with a bit of a paint work, paint job though. Ow, thumb bone. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, killing farm, yeah, yeah. Like, see, it tells you it was a being industrial state, didn't it? Now I'm after this other place called, so we have a look on here where it's got on there. Okay. Wind it open because I'm getting fucking warm. Right. Could it be the thing that's right in front of me? There's, there's a possibility. Well and truly is. Yeah. So, right then. Deliveries? No, I don't want the deliveries, but is there a HGV thing? That's deliveries. Uh, deliveries only. Now through traffic. Okay then. Does that mean that I don't? Because I'm not delivering, I'm fucking connecting. I'll, I'll ask this dude here because he's got a laptop and he looks, looks smart. Is this a, a place for collection or...? Yes. Yeah. There we are then. We're here guys and girls and girls and guys, we're here. Hello. What I'm going to do, I'm going to swing this around here and just line it up with that bay here out the road so that I can uh, whip the cameras off when ready but I'm gonna go and uh, sort myself out so anyway we're done we're here that's it game over end of hour and 11 minutes that's not bad that's not bad I suppose I better gather did not I I hope you enjoy me flapping and making a complete tit of myself but uh, you know hey it makes for good viewing Right on giving. Toodle people and all that. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Have I got a save? I am all gone then. Go on. Off your pop. Pop, poppity poppins. Woo!